welcome to our office. I suppose you are here to apply to be the goddess servant, is that right? Okay, well, the list is very long. She has a lot of slaves that are waiting for this position. And she's looking for the most capable ones. So, um, before goddess can see your application, I will have to ask you some questions, alright? Good. On a scale 1 to 10, how good are you at cleaning boots? Mm-hmm. Alright. I see. On a scale 1 to 10, how much pain can you tolerate? <laughs> That's so cute. Well, <laughs> you know, God is a little bit saddest. Yeah. Not sure there's gonna be enough. Do you think we can push it a little bit further? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell her. Next question. How sensitive are your balls? And can you tolerate the pain there? Um, that's not good. <laughs> She's gonna be disappointed. I mean, I'm already disappointed looking at you. You'll have to work as extra hard to be her slave. <laughs> mm. Alright, so I have a next question for you. <laughs> How small are you down there? It's gonna be really entertaining for her. Let me write it down. And do you wear chastity? Are you used to that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm already embarrassed for you. Alright. Let me write it down. Okay. Oh, sorry. What was your name? Oh, I don't care actually. I'm just gonna put you um, as an object. Object number 735. Alright, memorize your name. I mean your number. We don't really do names here. Uh, yes, there's an application to be the goddess's property. Not a goddess's person. <laughs> Alright, next question I have for you is If you are usable as furniture, meaning can you be a table so she can put her uh, feet on you and can you hold it that way? Or can you be a doormat? Can she clean her boots on you and stuff like that? Okay. <laughs> Let me just write that down. Well, yeah, you have to serve goddess. You have to serve her however she wants. So if she's going to tell you to get down and be her doormat, you got to do it. And when the next moment she wants you to hold her coats, you know, and stand there for the rest of the day, that's what you got to do. Okay, next question. Have you ever been collared and caged? Yeah, like a dog collar, uh, closed in a cage. And have you been also taken out on a leash? And how good are you with that? Mm, all right. If 
But the thing is, you know, like I'm asking you all this question, but the actual thing is that God just does not care, you know? She's gonna do all these things, whatever she wants with you anyways. We are just testing you, so like, you know, she doesn't like crying betas, right? Like, she cannot stand betas that cry, you know? So if you want to be a slave that she's going to be satisfied with, you ha just have to hold it, you know? You cannot just start crying while she decides, decides to, um, I don't know, kick you down there or just put your, um, put her clothes on her and stay like that and hold your arms like that for her to hold it you know like we don't do cry babies here right um and just letting you know there's a policy in here which says that if you fail to fulfill her needs you're gonna end up in a basement just letting you know all right oh you want to know more, more details about the basement all right <laughs> well, there's this little place um, right under her castle. Where's the basement? And there's certain like metal uh, appliances where she's going to um, tie you or do whatever she wants with you. Okay. Um, actually, she's she's not going there to be honest because. It's too dirty for her, but there is some other big men, <laughs> let's just put it that way, who have very big whips, alright? And you can imagine what's going to happen to you. Yeah, and there is like no food, um, nothing, so you're just gonna rot in there. You know, there is a very honorable position being a goddess slave. If you fail to do that, you know, if you disobey her or if, you know, you just are too much of a crybaby or she's not satisfied with you, however small it is, you know, there's a lot of, there's a long line of slaves who are looking for this position. She's just gonna, you know, kick you, you know, directly to the basement. Okay, yeah. You still want to apply? Of course you do. It's such an honorable position to be a goddess slave. Of course you still want to apply. <laughs> Aren't you just so cute? <laughs> such a cute little beta. And I suppose you're a virgin, right? <laughs> of course you are. I did not even have to ask you. I mean, I just look at you and I know. <laughs> Alright, next question I have for you. Um, how good are you at dressing up as, you know, a maid, um, a pimp, or all these type of things? How good are you at that? Because goddess likes entertainment too, you know? You have to be of service to her, which um, includes being your furniture, um, and being her entertainment, and being her slave, and maid, and everything. So, at some times, at some point, you'll have to entertain her. How good are you at that? Dressing up, first of all. Okay, let me put it down. I see. Mm. <laughs> Alright. So, that's it that I wanted to talk to you about, Object 735. Um, I'm going to send your application to the goddess, and if you're chosen, you can start your surveys. I know, I know you want to be her slave so bad. I know that really well. Alright, stop begging. Every single slave that comes here is just begging and begging to be her slave. And it's so annoying, honestly. Um, I'll let you know how the procedure goes and if you have been picked. Do you have any more questions? Oh, I don't actually care if you have questions. You're not allowed to have questions anyways. <laughs> so, 
thank you for coming here and i will see you under goddesses feet one day hopefully that'll be really fun <laughs>